density altitude has bitten off more pilots than one can shake a stick at. You know, a recent uh, flight out of Santa Fe, New Mexico, I elected to depart early in the morning before the density altitude increased to 9,000 um, as the day wore on, just like the day before. So on this day, it was uh, at 6,800, and the sun was up just uh, above the horizon, and the tower was still closed. So I elected to depart early in the morning. And the takeoff on runway 20, even though the winds were favoring 28 with uh, 250 at seven knots, runway 20 is longer, it's the main runway, and has a gentle upsloping terrain after the departure bend. So after determining the uh, proper fuel flow set to the density altitude per the POH, uh, pilot operating handbook and calculating the ground roll to the weight density altitude and power setting at uh, I used the marker for taxiway golf uh, which was about 2,400 feet down the uh, runway and it was easily visible reference point to be the takeoff point I also planned for a go-no-go no go decision at the intersection of runway 10 to 8. If not up by then, to power down and stop and see why the thrust was not as predicted. On takeoff, as the runway disappeared, the terrain continued to climb, uh, rise steadily up to a maximum of 8,575 feet. The aircraft maintained a healthy climb rate of about 600 to 650 feet per minute as predicted by the pilot operating handbook chart calculations based on initial climb of the indicated airspeed of 97 knots and then increasing it to 110 knots for the cruise climb mode. Flying the angle of attack donut made the climb out easy, which indicated the positive lift vector and my eyes mostly remained outside the cockpit. I climbed to 11,000 feet eastbound flying back to the homestead. And it was a very interesting uh, flight out. So you'd, you'd be able to see how to calculate density altitude at departure airport and also to calculate the roll on the runway as well as a climb rate. By the way, the uh, views on takeoff early in the morning from Santa Fe were absolutely spectacular. The, the mountains on both sides as uh, I turned eastbound. It's worth taking a trip down there to take a look and visiting Santa Fe.